What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Broken Boat Garage and we're going to start tearing this uh, 360 down that goes into this truck. It's a little bit hot today here in Ohio, would you say, Morgan? Yeah. But so far we haven't had that many hot days, so you can't complain. I think we've only had a few days in the 90s, maybe like one or two, not many. We're going to start by taking the coil and uh, distribute it off. And I have never taken a distributor off in my life. To be honest, I've never worked on uh, distributors. Kind of nothing, so this is all learning process for me. Uh, I'm a young person, so pretty much all my cars I've always had coil packs and stuff like that. So there's nothing wrong with that. I just gotta learn this stuff. Go to people learn this as their first stuff because they had it in their first cars and stuff, not me. I guess I did have it in my Jeep, I just never messed with it. I put wires on it, but I, I was like, yeah, I ain't touching that right now. It's running, that's all that matters. Put some wires in it. You know what? No. Is that bad? Kind of. Why? That Jeep was nice. There was a ground under there, under the intake. I can always look back on this video. This was under the bolts too that holds the coil on. We just sort of try to take all these wires off. I'm pretty sure this one just plugs into there. Like that. And yeah, we just want to take all this stuff with it. You can see what they just unplug. Boom, boom. Okay, now I'm gonna uh, just put these bolts back in there. And once I get this distributor ready to come out, which I gotta figure out how to do that, we're going to uh, try to accomplish that. Don't you just unclip the motherfucker? Can I? Uh, no, that takes the cap off. I know, but ain't there shit inside of it? Yeah, there is, but well, we don't gotta mess with that right now. We'll have to mess with that later on once we get a new one and stuff. Did you just spin it? What? Did you just spin it and yank it? No, this, I can see this thing. I'm pretty sure we gotta loosen this bolt, I'm hoping. And I'm hoping it just pulls out, to be honest. You might want to this back on first. <laughs> I will. Let's see what happens when we take this board out. Hopefully, guys, fingers crossed. Hopefully, throw me an idiot in the comments. I don't care. I don't I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to this. Ain't never taking one apart. But we are now, and we're going to learn. We have to learn. Oh, yep. And there's a little gasket there. I don't know. I think that gear is supposed to come with it, but we'll figure it out. And then all this stuff can just come off with it. Oh, without hitting Morgan in the face. I'll plug this, which I think that's for like oil pressure. See, I'm not that dumb. I kind of think that's for oil pressure. Put so that on the table. Leave the wire connected to it. You see that little gear in there? Pretty sure that was supposed to come with it, maybe. Mm -hmm. Huh. We don't know. All right, so that's good like that. We got that off. I'm just gonna leave everything pretty much connected to the intake too. That'll be coming off soon. Now, soon what? <laughs> I'm gonna take this water pump off and literally, let me show them what I'm gonna do, Morgan. I'm going to put and just put pieces of tape on the bolt so they stay in it so then I don't have to uh, figure out which bolt goes to what because they have different leaks. Well, let me get this off and I'll get back to you guys once I got this off and all the intake bolts loose. Later, and we finally got all those bolts off for this intake. I'm just gonna sit this down on the floor. Oh, you want to get a close up inside the engine? Someone did put new gaskets on it eventually. It looks like we got a lot of oil coming from in there. I don't know what that could be valves or something leaking. Ooh. But there's the cam, obviously, the push rods. I don't know what else you could see in there. What is that? I got sucked in there, I guess. Uh, yeah, you can see the push rods, the cam. That's about it. All you can see in there. The cam. Doesn't really even seem that wore out. For some reason, it looks like it got hot before. 
I don't know if that's normal or not. I don't know how many miles it's actually on this engine. But yeah, I guess it does look a little worn out right there. We're not going to be using this cam at all. We're going to be buying a different one. Is that like a chip? All chipped up. Let's take these valve covers off real quick. Shall we? Hopefully the machine shop that I go to will put this together for me. If not, we'll be putting it together and learning another big process. And hopefully we don't blow it up. Right, Morgan? Mm -hmm. You think we'll be able to get it together and run right? One way or another. I'm not wasting money and stuff. Hopefully not. Hopefully we don't waste a bunch of money. <laughs> that would suck. Let me know what you guys think. Think if you guys see this video before I take this to the machine shop, should I uh should I have them put it together or should I put it together myself? I don't think I missed one. Maybe if I stuck on that too. Oh, there we go. That's pretty sludgy. <laughs> okay, I don't know. <laughs> what? What? They do got these down coming <laughs> These are the valve covers that's going to go back on it. Let's see what they look like real quick. I don't even know if this is the right one. I think it is. That looks good. That does look good. But all right, I'm going to start pulling apart the uh, timing stuff and all that good stuff so we can uh, get these heads off. I'm trying to get the freaking uh, everything off so we can get the timing chain off so I can take these heads off. But we made a mess. And I got too long of extension on this, uh, too long of extensions on this, don't mind that. But anyways, we can't get this fully off, so I'm gonna try to take the oil pan off, try to fit it off. If not, it might be late tomorrow to get a uh, puller to get that off. I have one, but I forgot the thing broke that uh, goes in the kit, so I can't really use it right now. So yeah, we're gonna try to beat it off, but uh, I wanna remove the oil pan, I should be able to get more of a hit on it. Yeah, we beat that thing right off. Uh, but anyway, there's all this like milky, I don't know, it's not really milky, but like gooey oil on everything. All this seems fine. I don't think there's too much play in any of this. But there is metal shavings like everywhere, which I don't know where they came from. But if you look in here, all that gooey stuff in here, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. There's this, that's like, it almost feels like plastic something maybe barren material something i don't know but it's all in the oil pan like it's covered in here and it's all that milky stuff uh gooey i don't even know what you'd call it it's a good thing we rebuilt on it pretty much uh yeah i'll continue trying to get that timing cover off all right guys so it's the next day i kind of went in late uh early last night earlier than i wanted to i wanted to stay out late but i got the timing chain off the uh, gear that goes onto the crank is stuck on there. I don't know if you, there's a special way to take it off or not, but I cannot get that off right now. We might not even have to take it off because we got a brand new one. And uh, a new crank, obviously. So, I think these are the rockers. I don't know what you call this whole assembly. Just by the input, but we're pulling that off right now. And we'll see what happens. Just like that. We probably will not be reusing those either. And I'm pretty sure I can just, uh, I think I can just pull the push rods out now. These are all the push rods. So then I can pull the lifters out. These all have to get changed too, so I'm not worried about keeping them in order either. Let's see if any of them are or not. Somehow. Do that later. We'll see if any of or anything like that. Uh, we're not even going to be reusing this head. We get a new head too. But uh, yeah, we'll just try to get these lifters out if I can. That might be a little difficulty, but as of right now, I'm going to start getting this head off. So bolts down here, head bolts down here. There's one, two, three, four, five. It's looking like 
I thought there should have been some in here. Yeah, right here. So those are all the bolts. There should be like 10 of them, I think. I'm gonna line up the AIP uh, studs for the head bolts. Just because, why not? It should help out on uh, not letting them leak head gaskets or anything like that. And I kind of treat my vehicles like shit in a way from driving. I like to do brain outs and shit like that. But yeah, let me bust all these loose and then uh, I'll get, we can uh, get into it, see what the pistons look like. Here we go guys, got that head off. We're gonna be pulling this one off now. That's what the bottom looks like. Honestly, I don't think it looks that bad. I don't know if this thing's been rebuilt before or not. I don't know where all the uh, stuff came from that's in the bottom of the oil pan. Doesn't, I haven't seen any scarring in any of the uh, cylinders really. Honestly, uh, for the age, it looks good. But we got a rebuild kit now, scat. Right, mom? Yes. Got mom out mm -hmm. here. She's filming for me. What do you think about this project? Too long? A long one. Well, yeah. I don't know. It doesn't really look like the head gaskets were really leaking. Maybe right there a little bit. But yeah, I'm going to try to figure out. I, I'm learning as I go. I got to try to figure out how to get the cam out. I'm pretty sure I just take this off. And then I think it just pulls out. But I'll figure that out. And then we'll be back. So we got to get the... Uh, gear out that one's the distributor and the oil pump. So we got to take the oil pump off I think that's gonna be the easiest way to get it out because I can push on it from the bottom This is the uh, oil pump. We got a new one Because that will be used. Old oil pump for our new engine Pretty much. But I'm pretty sure it's only holding on with two bolts I think I either have to get a new pickup tube or I'll just reuse this pickup tube if I can clean it up nicely we just have to see. If I can get this board out, it should come off. So far, this engine you can probably work on it with twenty dollars worth of tools. It doesn't take much. But that's the oil pump. I'm actually gonna get the new one and compare it to it. And make sure I got the right one, so I don't run into that problem later on. Now that that's out, this this right here is the uh, gear that runs it. Oh, sorry. This gear, this is what runs it, and it's a gear, and it runs the distributor too. We can probably just push it out now, right here. It goes onto the camshaft. But I just gotta wiggle it out of there. It might be a little bit difficult. After I get that out, I'll show you guys what it looks like and uh, go from there. All right, now we got mom back filming. Grandma helped me film. That one's just helping me film. We got the oil pump out. I did wind up getting that gear out. I just couldn't get it out on camera and I didn't want to bore you guys with me trying to push it out. But it just slides right out. Uh, I got to see if I'm going to reuse that or not or buy a new one. I don't know yet. But we definitely got a new oil pump. I already got that in the house. I'm going to compare it to that one, make sure I got the light one. And I would like to get a different pickup tube, to be honest, and not use that one because I don't think the oil pump can pick up tube. But this cam is coming out. I'm trying to get the cam out now. It's kind of stuck. Don't, don't uh, criticize me for this because we're not reusing the cam. Get it out probably more, you know. But this is kind of cool. This is my first ever uh, removing a camshaft out of a freaking engine like this. You guys are, are witnessing history, right, now. Yeah. And I'm sloppy with it. I gotta get my techniques down. I gotta do this a couple more times. We need more engines to go so I can get it. Right, Mom? Huh? But this is the camshaft. We're gonna be getting a different one, a choppy boy. Things gonna be out here. Bah, 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 hopefully. Uh, let me know what I should do with this. If I should hang it on the wall, make something out of it. If you want to see me try to break it in half, I'm pretty sure if you drop them on the ground, they break in half. I've seen videos like that. I don't know. So let me know what you guys want to see with that. Now we're going to flip the engine over. If you want to back up, Mom, since you're not, you don't have popcorn. Oh, shit. My bad. Popcorn tired for the garage. Well, I think it's time that we flip it over 
and uh, start taking all this stuff off. Um, like I said, I've never done this before, so I'm learning as I go. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to uh, take the um, <laughs> take the uh, caps off the pistons, and then I can push those out, get all those out. And then I can take the, uh, I think these would be called uh, the main caps or something. Don't, don't quote me on this. I'm no freaking uh, professional and don't want to school or anything. Take these off and then I think I can pull the crank out. We got a leak. Yeah, we got a leak. <laughs> Time to take the pistons out, guys. We already got one piston out over there. We got parts everywhere. Here's the, uh, one of the bins. They don't look too, too bad. You can tell they're a little, little worn out, but that stuff come, came from that's in the oil pan. I have no clue. It beats me. After we get all these out, I'll eat them. We're going to start uh, pulling the uh, crank out. And then I think we're about done. I think it will be ready to go to the machine shop pretty much then. Anything I do here, go. If you want to do it yourself, don't technically copy me because it could be the long way of doing things. That's my first time doing this. So, but we'll probably get it to work. We'll probably get it to work. I think we'll get it to work. What do you say, Morgan? It's good. Do you have faith in me? Yeah. These things are kind of hard to get out, I'm not going to lie. I, I watch people do it on videos and they just pop it right out. Not that easy for me. But this is what I'm going to be doing. We're just going to be taking all, all eight of the pistons out. I'll get them all out, line them up. This is what one looks like. We'll just go from there. Go ahead. We got all 16 of the pistons out, right, Morgan? 16 of them. Now we got look, the main caps, I think this is what you call these, the uh, crankshaft journals, I don't know what you call them. Something, they hold the crankshaft in, that's all I know. We gotta take all those out. I'm keeping them how they come out so I can put them back on the engine, if that makes sense. This one is one in between that one. <laughs> I don't know why these ones are stuck. There it goes. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah. Stuck under. There we go. This one goes here. Now we can pull the crankshaft right out of this bad boy. Won't ever be using this one again. Definitely probably keep it around. Maybe. Oh. We could probably use it for a different engine if we got it oh. redone. What? No. No. Morgan says no. Is there a No, no. But yeah, we're pretty much a bare block now. What do you think, Morgan? Fucking <coughs> stinks. Yeah, it smells. It's ready to uh, drip oil on the floor. Ew. Oh. oh ready to drip oil on the floor, right? No, but it's pretty much ready for the machine shop now. Probably uh, take it like this, this off. I put this in a, a bag, get the engine mounts off it, and it's pretty much ready for the machine shop. Let me grab a rag over here and we can take a look inside the uh, cylinder holes, cylinder boards, whatever you want to call them. I'm pumped though. This is my first engine rebuild, Morgan, like completely. This is like, and it's going to be a stroker. It's a Dodge, but we're going to have to do a Chevy one day. I like all cars, it don't matter, Dodge, Ford. I like cars from Ford, I like cars from Chevy, I like cars from Dodge. Same with the trucks, it just depends what it is. So, like, I'm not picky. I like Hondas, I like Mitsubishi's. Mm. I like them quotes too. Everything's fun to me. It actually looks very clean in there, so we shouldn't have any problems. Hopefully they check to see if it has any cracks. Hopefully there's no cracks in this block or anything. That would suck, but should you clean it for him? I don't know. That's I don't know. I mean, I would. I know we're gonna call him the Thursday before to let him know that we're gonna come down to drop it off. 
Please don't let us know what time to be there. Uh, yeah. Mm, now I have a huge mess to clean up. Right, Morgan? Yep. Got one project done, but we made a mess doing it, but that's okay. You gotta get all this stuff cleaned up, put away, what I'm gonna keep, what I'm gonna throw away, all that good stuff. Uh, and then we'll probably be painting these doors here in the next day or two. I'm trying to paint them on Sunday, today's Friday. So I'm trying to paint those on Sunday. I'm trying to get one side of them painted at least. And then I'll paint the other side during the week sometime. But yeah, this is gonna be the end of this video. We got the 360 uh, tore down for the truck, ready for the machine shop. Uh, next step is dropping it off at the machine shop. And then uh, I'm gonna try, fingers crossed, try to get them to assemble the bottom end. And then hopefully they do that and I won't have to. But if not, we'll be assembling the bottom end. But yeah, give me a like, comment, subscribe, share the videos. Come back to see this truck get done. Come back. We also got the clips up this uh, sitting pretty. It's going to be working done to that soon. We need a clutch, obviously, like I've said in the previous videos. And yeah, see you guys for the next one. Hey, what's going on? So that was the end of the video. So I'm dirty. I was trying to cut the grass. It started raining. Stuff's happened. We got doors painted. You guys will see that in a video coming up soon. But this engine, I thought it was a 360 this whole time. I should have read the VIN on the side of the block before taking it apart, but I'm an idiot and I didn't. Uh, the truck VIN, if you look it up on Carfax and what, whatever, it says 59360. Someone's must have swapped a 318 into it before, which sucks, but I did find a different block I'm gonna go try to pick up tomorrow after work. So we're still gonna get it done. Just now we got a 318 block that I'm either gonna sell to recoup some money or, uh, Put it off and put it in a different car eventually but yeah give me a like comment subscribe stay tuned for more see you guys for the next video